Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain using drop down how to change the background color dynamically of the React.js component. Let's check the final output of this application. I'm selecting blue. So here we got the background color of the body is blue. If I select red, see here we, the background color is red. If I select orange, we got orange. If I select green, we got green. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my React.js previous tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Here I have already created my React.js application which is BIS is the React.js application name and I have created this application in this folder React.js Bootstrap IS. And at the right side panel notice the app.js is nothing but our react.js default component now first we'll add one new component to our source folder let's right click the source folder new file and the file name i'm adding bgcolor.js and here we got the bgcolor.js now in this js file i will create a functional component now when we want to create a component first we need to require to import the react class from the react library so first let's import react from between single quotes i'm adding the react library after that i'm adding the function which is a bg color inside this bg color this function export default bg color now here in this function return I'm adding a div element which is a root element of this component inside this div element I'm adding the select component select element so when we are adding the select element we need to install the react select library so first go to view and select terminal here we got our terminal notice the path is d column react js bootstrap is which is nothing but our folder name Inside this folder, I have BIS, which is my React.js application. So first, let's add my application to this path, cd, BIS, enter. After that, let's install npm, nudget package manager install. I want to install the React select library. So React hyphen select enter. And here the package is installing. And here we got a message updated one package which is the react hyphen select version 3.1.1 is installed successfully now let's add this react select to our project in the component i'm adding the select from it's a select from using code so react select after that now we can able to add select as is capital here select now inside the select element i want to bind the color names so those colors i want to bind from an array so first let's define one variable called colors is equals to an array between curly brackets Now between these curly brackets, I'm defining the label and value. Here the first one is the value is one comma. It's not equal to it's colon. And the label colon with single quotes, I'm adding red. Comma, let's add some more colors. The value is two. And the color is blue 
the value is 3 the label color is orange and the value is 4 let's give the label cream just for the demo purpose I am adding only 4 labels to this array now let's bind this variable colors to this select element and this select element contains a property called options inside this options I am binding the colors now let's check the output these values is binded to this select element or not let's save this file save all uh, in order to run this application on the now in order to run this component on the browser we need to configure our component in the index.js file so open index.js file and notice in the index.js file the default component rendering is the app component so let's delete that app component i want to render our component which is a bg color let's import first import bg color from bg color and i'm adding my component name here bg color that's it let's save this application and we'll run our application npm start enter and here we got our output notice the select element which contains our data red blue orange and this data we are fetching we are binding from the arrays now when i use a select any particular label for example orange i want to get the background color orange let's do that one switch to the component above the return method first i'm declaring the event variable ddl handle which is the event name e and when users select the colors and that color first i want to hold so variable uh, it's an array contains two parameters first one um, first one is a bg color set bg colors let's add bg color comma and the second one is a dd value whatever the value drop down values I am setting in this set bg color is equals to here I am adding a hook called set uh, use state use state notice when I use state added here it's it's added automatically so use state uh, here I am getting the label name from this colors variable colors dot label and here in the event also i'm adding this ddl value here ddl value and the value contains e dot label we're getting the label from this event now let's add this handle ddl handle to this select element mm, here on change event it is equals to our event name which is a ddl handle after that i want to display the color name also uh, so, so just for the simple i'm adding center tag inside the center tag i'm adding one a bold tag inside this bold tag the selected color the background color set the background background color is the color we are getting from this set bg color and now here the main functionality to change the background color using the style property style element using the style element between curly brackets i'm adding the body the body of the component i want to change 
background background color colon um between single quotes plus plus colon the color name we are getting from set bg color that's it i hope we've done the complete coding part let's save this application now it's time to check the final output i'm reloading the browser let's check the final output of this application i'm selecting blue so here we got the background color of the body is blue if i select red see here we the background color is red if i select orange we got orange if i select green we got green that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to set the background color dynamically in react.js component using drop down list that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel